Jeep Wrangler Expert Review The Jeep Wrangler requires no explanation. This military-inspired off-roader has been around in some form for nearly eight decades, and the latest iteration pushes the limits of performance and efficiency without sacrificing the Wrangler's excellence away from pavement. Last year brought us the Extreme Recon package to compete with the Ford Bronco's Sasquatch Pack, this year's updates include a limited edition and a few visual tweaks. The Wrangler competes with other off-road SUVs including the Ford Bronco, Toyota 4Runner, and Land Rover Defender. The Wrangler is a 2022 IntelliChoice Best Overall Value Award win. Jeep's boxy icon is confident and capable on the trail, veterans will enjoy pushing the Wrangler's limits crawling rocks and making use of clever tech disconnecting anti-roll bars while rookies couldn't have a more foolproof companion dipping their toes into the world of off-road. One of the aspects that won the Wrangler R2019 SUV of the Year award was its improved on-road performance, but anyone coming from a conventional car or crossover would describe the Jeep's steering and handling as archaic and agricultural. Those sacrifices cost the Wrangler a win in our cheap off-road comparison, losing to the Ford Bronco Sport. That said, its build quality and off-road capability earned a victory over its true competition, the full-size Ford Bronco. One of the Wrangler's greatest strengths is its breadth of powertrain and trim options, ranging from a luxuriously appointed plug-in hybrid to a 470-horsepower Rubicon Extreme Recon with all the off-road gear you could imagine. Plus, the Wrangler has the best resale value of any SUV, selling for around three-quarters of its original purchase price after five years of ownership. We understand why these things are so popular. The Wrangler's range of powertrain options is unmatched in the off-road space. Not only does it offer naturally aspirated, turbocharged, and diesel options, there's also a plug-in hybrid and an outrageous 470 horsepower V8. All Wranglers feature standard 4WD, and although some variants offer a 6-speed manual, most are exclusively available with an 8-speed automatic. As for that diesel, get it while you can. Jeep has announced that the 2023 Wrangler will be the final model year for that powertrain option. 3.6 liter V6. Horsepower slash torque, 285 horsepower slash 260 pounds to foot. Efficiency, city slash highway, 17 to 20, 23 to 25 miles per gallon. Acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.9 seconds. 2.0 liter turbo I4. Horsepower slash torque. 270 horsepower slash 295 pounds to foot efficiency city slash highway 21 to 22 24 of a mile per gallon acceleration 0 to 60 miles per hour 8.0 seconds 3.0 liter turbo diesel v6 horsepower slash torque 260 horsepower slash 422 pounds to foot efficiency city slash highway 21 to 22 26 to 29 miles per gallon Acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 7.5 seconds slash. 2.0 liter turbo I4 plus electric motor. Horsepower slash torque, 375 horsepower slash 470 pounds to foot. Efficiency, combined, 49 miles per gallon E. Gas plus elect, 20 miles per gallon, gas only. Acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 6.8 seconds. 6.4 liter V8. Horsepower slash torque, 470 horsepower slash 470 pounds to foot. Efficiency, city slash highway, 13 seventeenths of a mile per gallon. Acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour, 4.2 seconds. If you're seeking a safe small SUV, it may be best to look elsewhere. The Wrangler receives unimpressive 4-star frontal and 3-star rollover ratings from the NHTSA, as well as a marginal small overlap front crashworthiness rating from the FS. In that FS test, the Wrangler has even been shown to flip over. The FS also issued poor and marginal headlight ratings. Jeep doesn't include any driver assist features as standard, either, but there are a few on the table if you're willing to shell out extra cash. With all the boxes ticked, the Wrangler is available with automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and automatic high beams. Jeep offers two different infotainment setups in the Wrangler, a 7.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and an 8.4-inch setup with the smartphone mirroring tech plus integrated navigation. 
that larger system comes bundled with a front-facing trail camera for additional visibility off-road. 8-speaker audio is standard but an Alpine premium system is included with higher trims. Jeep introduced the Xtreme Recon package last year, and combined with the Rubicon trim, it makes for the most capable factory Wrangler Jeep has ever built. In addition to the Rubicon's already impressive collection of off-road gear, the Xtreme Recon Pack, which is also available on the Willys and Willy Sport trims, adds 35-inch 315 Section BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires that are taller and wider than those fitted to the standard Ruby. That's the most obvious difference, but the package also adds unique 18-inch beadlock-capable wheels, a 1.5-inch lift, an ultra-short 4.88 to 1 axle ratio option, a reinforced swing gate, and upgraded brakes. Choosing the right Wrangler can be harder than you think. Go for the base model, and you'll end up with a stripped-out utility machine with manual windows, manual locks, and a plastic steering wheel. But if you go with all the options you want, it's easy to end up spending over $50,000. That said, with the Wrangler's superb value retention, you could likely afford a slightly more expensive model compared to other SUVs. We're fans of the well-rounded Willys trim with the 2.0-liter Turbo 4, sky cloth top, and the sun and sound package. Sure, it's expensive, but you'll get most of your money back when you trade it in.